Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Sunday, the 7th of April, 2019, and we're providing our gold and silver weekly update for the week ending the 5th of April. Gold fell $2 last week from 1,292 to 1,290, having hit a high of 1,296 and a low of 1,281. In sterling terms, gold finished the week at £989, that's down £2. And in euros, it closed at €1,149, that's down €2 Euros on the week. Silver fell four cents, from $15.15 to $15.11, having hit a high of 15.21 and a low of 14.92, breaking that important 14, uh, sorry, $15 level. In sterling terms, it closed at 11 pounds and 59 pence. That's down three pence. And in euros, it closed at 13.47. That's down 0.03 euros. The gold to silver ratio rose a touch from 85.3 to one to 85.4 to one. The Dow Jones closed on Friday at 26,424, up 40 points on the day and up 496 points on the week. And the Nasdaq closed at 7,938, up 46 points on the day, and up 209 points on the week. And the S&P 500 closed at 2,892, up 13 points on the day, and up 58 points on the week. Brent crude rose $2.76, from $67.58 to $70.34. And US light crude rose $2.94, from $60.14 to $63.08. The dollar index stands at 97.39. That's up again by 0.11 on the week. Our conclusion in last week's report stated, quote, well, one thing is for certain, we shall not see silver at $100 and gold at 5,000, as our friend David Morgan predicted on Palisade Radio back in September 2017 for 2018 or 19. If anything, we see a slight bias downwards. On that very note, where is the dollar collapse and stock market route that Peter Schiff and Greg Hunter's interviewees and all of the rest of the band of merry pumpers were predicting just a couple of months ago? It was imminent, as we recall it, was it not? It must have been imminent because so many YouTube channel commentators were also following in line repeating the same old epithet, while we once again stood out against the crowd. And although advised caution clearly pointed out that such a collapse was very far from imminent. We don't say this to be smug. We say this because we know what we're talking about and do not have a vested interest to misguide our viewers and subscribers in taking action which potentially could hurt them financially or are just amateurs repeating the words of these sages of financial wisdom who since 2011 have got it very wrong indeed. Anyway, that's our rant over, back to the gold market. Last week we saw gold seesaw virtually all week within a $15 range. Not particularly exciting and despite good non-farm payroll job figures, but poor average wage increases, there was little reaction. $1,275 and $1,280 are important support levels, and $1,300 is seen by some technical analysts as resisting. Dollar strength has undoubtedly kept gold in check, which many conclude is attempting to go higher. We are quite frankly and excited at this stage, as it's all about the dollar for the moment. Some Forex traders are stating it's overbought and can see a little weakness ahead, and we would not argue with this. That said, stock markets are once again gaining momentum because they see cheap money ahead, and this will keep gold prices in check also. Silver once again moved similarly to gold, and as we have often repeated, from an industrial perspective, which represents almost 60% of demand, we do not see this level strengthening in view of the global reduction in forecast GDP and industrial growth figures. Therefore, silver's buoyancy is predicated on it moving in sync with gold as a monetary metal, 
And unless we see greater take up of this, we can only envisage rather tepid civil uh, prices for the forthcoming months ahead. Now, let's be clear on this. We do not see a silver price crash, but we also do not envisage a rapid rise in price either, at least not short term. Unless, of course, the proverbial black swan re-enters our economic waters. But on comparative grounds, the US looks strong when compared with Europe, the UK, and most of the emerging market economies. And therefore, the dollar will be, at least for now, the go-to currency to which many will flock in the case of an emergency. Jim Rogers has frequently stated this over the years, and we agree with him. Technical analysts are, to be candid, a little confused over silver's future direction. If the US dollar is overbought, then they see it strengthening. However, if the euro dollar pair does not hold up, they see silver prices falling. Either way, most are agreed, silver is currently range bound, within the 1450 at the low and 1550 at the high, with $15 representing quite a solid floor allowing only a few incursions for a relatively short period. Well, last week we saw non-farm payrolls for March showing 196,000 new jobs versus an estimated 177,000. But we also saw average hourly earnings rise by just 0.1% against an expected 0.3% with the unemployment rate remaining fixed. So what do we have on the economic calendar for this coming week. Well, Wednesday, we have the Consumer Price Index for March with a forecast of 0.4% and Core CPI for March with a forecast of 0.2%. Thursday, Producer Price Index for March with a 0.3% forecast. And on Friday, the Consumer Sentiment Index for April expected to stand at 98 compared with 98.4 the previous month. So we may see some slight movement depending on the core inflation results and the producer price index, but we envisage not a great deal of change as the results are likely to be close to expectations. So how do we see this coming week? Well, possibly slightly firmer gold and silver prices, especially if the dealers are correct about an overbought US dollar. However, the fiasco over Brexit in the United Kingdom and its effect on Europe could potentially further weaken the euro and sterling against the US dollar. Either way, we do not foresee any dramatic change as yet. For those who are quietly accumulating, to continue to do so. And for those who are awaiting better prices, at least in US dollar terms, in our view, there may indeed be an opportunity ahead. Last night, we conducted our fifth Illuminati Silver webinar, which included IS, controversially Greg, and Journal Marcus. The webinar actually lasted one and a half hours and focused very heavily on Brexit and its ramifications for sterling, the euro and the US dollar, and therefore the potential impact on gold and silver prices. It is our intention on this occasion, and this occasion only, to release this webinar for everyone to listen so that you can witness for yourselves the quality and level of debate that goes on within the Inner Sanctum and is available to silver members. Also, it is planned to have a new forum layout on display, which we are hoping will enable members to buy and sell gold and silver and other precious metals between one another. And this will go up either on Friday or at the very latest early the following week. Meanwhile, we hope and wish you have a prosperous and happy week ahead. We hope you have found this video interesting and informative, and if so, please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. Please ensure that you have subscribed to our channel and press the bell sign so that you are notified of any future videos. Also kindly visit our website at IlluminatiSilver.com and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe either as a free or paying member for regular email updates and offers. Disclaimer. Illuminati silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. 
Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners. <laughs>